finally end. Queen, Charles and William collaborate to create 26 Colombian pesos death sentence for Sussexes. Prince Charles, Queen and Prince William will come together at the United Nations COP26 climate change conference in Glasgow, a new report shows. Prominent members of the royal family are set to play an important role when world leaders travel to Scotland's largest city next month, the reports. Queen Elizabeth II, 95, is said to be joined by Prince Charles, 72, Prince William, 39, and Kate Middleton, also 39, for the UN's Climate Change Summit. The expects the Prince of Wales and Duke of Cambridge to address the COP26 conference and to hold talks with key world leaders. Environmentalist experts have lauded Charles and his eldest son for their work on climate change. While the Prince of Wales is a long-standing environmental campaigner, William has recently established the Earthshot Prize, which recognizes innovations that repair the planet. Bob Ward, from the Grantham Research Institute on Climate Change and Environment at the London School of Economics, said, Yes, I think it's entirely helpful to have such a strong showing from the royal family. Prince Charles, and increasingly Prince William have shown a particular interest in this area. Prince Charles is definitely recognized around the world as a deep thinker on these issues, and having a track record of having been interested in this for a long, long time. So, it's not just the symbolism, they are people of substance on these issues. It's very difficult given all the other tensions with China at the moment. So again, I think if the royal family are able to create a strong engagement with the Chinese leadership whilst they are here, that will help. In a study conducted by pollsters at Ipsos Mori in 2018, around 30% of people in China and 38% of people in India said the royal family gave them a more positive view of the UK. Her Majesty also came out of the study as the most popular member of the firm in both nations. Gareth Redmond King, COP26's communication and engagement lead, has claimed the appearance of the royals could have a profound impact on pushing other nations to up their game. The rest of the world will know the high regard we have for the royal family here in the UK, and the Queen in particular is very well respected around the world, he said. As host of the UN Climate Summit in November, it demonstrates the seriousness with which the UK is taking its responsibility that the Queen and other senior members of the royal family will be there in Glasgow to welcome world leaders and show their commitment to the outcome of this, the biggest and most important diplomatic summit in the UK in living memory. It should indicate that the UK is pulling out all the diplomatic stops and is committed to doing everything possible to ensure that we leave Glasgow with the Paris Agreement goal of keeping warming to 1.5 C within reach. According to recent data, China emitted more CO2 than any other country in the world, at almost 30%. In contrast, Britain's CO2 emissions barely tipped over 1%, leaving the UK as the 17th biggest emitter. Alok Sharma, former business secretary and 26 Colombian pesos president, has pointed out that China is the world leader for emitting carbon and has said the ball is in their court when talks commence. The report's negotiators from Beijing are expected to attend the conference. However, whether Chinese President Xi Jinping opts to travel to Glasgow remains to be seen. Eco-warriors Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will miss this year's COP26 climate change conference in November. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will skip the highly anticipated Glasgow climate event, while the Queen, Prince Charles, Camilla, William and Kate are all set to attend. Up to 25,000 people are expected from around the world for the event, with as many as 200 countries attending to try and set major climate change goals to stop global warming. The royal announcement comes weeks after Harry and Meghan attended the star-studded Global Citizen Live concert in New York, dubbed Wokestock, which demanded tough new eco-laws to halve U.S. emissions by 2030. It also pressed the wealthiest nations to deliver on a £70 billion a year pledge to help developing countries go green.